Hello everyone, and welcome back to Rabbit Sensei Gaming. Today we're doing something a little different. A little different. You know, I, I normally don't do videos like this, but I decided to try something new because, well, frankly, I've been doing the same stuff over and over again for the last many years, expecting different results. So let's try something a little funny. We're going to do a tier maker list. We're going to do a tier maker list, and I thought, you know what? I'm a big Fire Emblem fan, so let's go ahead and do something that people would want to see. Me ranking the Fire Emblem female characters based off of what I would put them as. Be it S rank material, A rank material, B rank material, C rank material, or meh. And let me be, I'm gonna be honest with you folks, I don't remember the names of all of these characters. I haven't played Awakening in a long time, but it, so please take it easy on me, though I do remember their personalities. Anyhow, let's start with the first one. Right here we have Female Robin. Female Robin is Robin, and honestly, it'd sort of be the same as dating yourself going with this, but, but seeing it as a different character, Female Robin is very calm and collected most of the time, from what I understand, and Honestly, seems like someone would be a cool person to hang out with. You know, maybe not all the time, but a good chunk of the time. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put her at... No, oh, we'll put her at B rank. Right, right in their middle. Oh, not, not a best pal, not an A rank, but a good pal. So B rank. Anna. Okay, now Anna. Anna is crazy. She loves money above all else and is by far one of the funniest characters in the game. Now, how well along you, we, one would get with this person, that's debatable. Because, you know, with a hyper focus on money, I have a feeling it'd be a little more give than a given, it'd be more of a give type of friendship instead of a give and take, take type of friendship, so it'd be hard to stick around because you might start feeling used after a bit. I mean, look at her support conversations with Tiki for crying out loud. So I'm going to say that she's probably a... I mean, based off of, you know, design, obviously that'd be S-rank, but we're not talking about just looks. We're talking about character personality. I'd say she's probably on a... Uh, I'd say she'd also fit in the B-rank because we all have those friends that are good friends that are more there to receive than give, but you still care about them anyway. They're a good pal. They're not your best buddy, but they're a good pal. You you hang out with them. I don't remember this character's name. I remember she was very stern and strict. And that she does have a little bit of a fun-loving personality, but not much. She's very uh, focused. Very focused on stuff. and Doesn't really know how to chill. So this person I'd have to put to my C rank, because it'd be more of an associate. Someone I'd just hang out with every once in a while, you know, it's like, oh, my friends are all hanging out together, this person wants to tag along. Okay, you know, more the merrier. But I really wouldn't go out of my way to hang with this person. So. Ah, uh, Cynthia. You are hyperactive beyond reason. Hyperactive beyond reason. And honestly, X way too childish for my liking. I have to put her at a C rank, you know, again, an associate type thing to where, yeah, you like, you, you enjoy their company, but you don't want to be around them 24-7. So it's a thing of, or even two or three days a week might seem like a bit much. So it's a thing of, yeah, C rank is right there for you. You just hang out, chill, be cool. Ah, yes. She was a good character. She was a good character. Someone... Who was a little, a little standoffish, a little aloof, but always had their heart in the right place, and, well, honestly, I don't think I'd put her on B rank. I think I'd also put her on C rank, because she, you know, she's very quiet, doesn't really talk to people that much, and whenever she does talk to people, she normally keeps it very, uh, Sort of cold. I mean, definitely a warm personality on the character, but it feels cold because it's more of a thing of, oh, just sort of keeping it business the whole time. Eh, alright. 
So it'd be a thing of it's half in between B and C rank, but I'd have to be say on the high end of C, high end of C. Ah, Olivia. Now Olivia is a fun character, really fun, very bashful, very shy, just a great time, and got a lot of laughs out of me. Not to mention a very useful character. Oh my lord. <laughs> a very useful character. But we're not talking about use in battle. We're talking about just based off personality. Personality-wise, high A, almost S, maybe even in the S rank category, but we're saving S rank for, you know, we can only choose one as an S rank category. We can only choose one, but definitely a high A rank. Definitely a high A rank. Definitely, because the character's just a lot of fun, silly, goofy, but also, you know, just you know, sort of serious, too. You know, just, you get what I mean. You get what I mean. You know, sort of like that shy friend who has a good sense of humor, but doesn't realize it. You know, that type of friend. Someone who you'd like to hang out with, you'd be really good pals with, and just, you'd tease them a little too much, because, you know, it gets to them a little bit. So they'd probably not see you at, up at a rank, right? but uh, you get what I mean. Ah, uh, no I know I know I. Really hyperactive, but not nearly as hyperactive as Cynthia. I'd say that she's probably a B rank. Because Noe does know how to keep it serious when need be, and could be a good friend, you know. Plus, you know, he often transforms into dragon form to help people get from point A to point B. You know, that's that's a very nice gesture, so she knows that, yeah, she has special abilities, she's gonna use them to help people instead of actually just playing the entire time. Though, if you can keep a hold uh, of her while riding the dragon and, you know, not fall into the pit below, which is, you know, the, the earth, you know, from the sky, <laughs> that's another question, but I have a feeling she'd catch you before you hit the ground. I have a feeling she'd catch you before you hit the ground. I don't remember this character at all. I remember that Flavia, I think the name was. Flavia wasn't a big fan for the same reason as the uh, Tadwell here, uh, I'd say she's probably on... Yeah, you know, I hate saying it, but I, I, since I barely remember anything about her except for her being a little more gung-ho, a little more energetic, while, but still very uh, hot-headed and stuff like that, I'd say definitely a C rank. And I'll put her above the Tadwell, because at least, you know, able to have a little bit of fun, but it's a thing of... <sighs> didn't really enjoy the character that much. Lucina. We all know who Lucina is at this point. Either you've played Smash Brothers, you've played Fire Emblem Awakening, Fire Emblem Heroes, to whatever it is out there. Lucina is definitely an A rank, a high A rank contender. And... That even though she's very, uh... Quiet, so to speak. The character is well written, and while you feel bad for her at the same time, it's that kind of feel bad to where it's like, okay, this person has had a rough life, but they're not a downer. They're trying to be. They're trying. They're doing their best. They're trying to be okay with everything. So you want to hang out with them. You want to spend time with them. Help them feel better. Stuff like that. And eventually, you get to be good pals with them. So I think Lucina is definitely an A rank character. A rank character, maybe may even contending for S, depending on, you know, things. Mirabelle. Meh. Uh, I don't remember this character at all. I just remember she was very studious. And, uh... Eh, I guess she also goes in the meh category, because I don't remember hardly anything about her. Ah, nah. More serious than Noe, and could definitely be an easy person to be friends with, but I don't think she's A rank material, for the same reason that female Robin is an A rank material. A little too serious at times, doesn't really relax and have fun, but definitely more fun than her mom because she won't take risks that might hurt you, that might get you hurt on accident, so we're gonna say B rank. Ah, Noir. Noir. Definitely another shy character. 
lot, a lot, a lot of fun, stuff like that. But she scares me when she goes, you know, psycho crazy time. <laughs> so I'm gonna say, you know, you can be an associate. You're higher than, you're higher than the, you're higher than the rest of them here. But just an associate because I don't want to be around when she, you know, snaps. Because <laughs> let's face it, archery is just stabbing people at long range. So we don't want to deal with that. <laughs> oh. Forget this character's name. I know her name, it's on the tip of my tongue, but no, I don't like this character at all. Low tier. Lissa! Wait, why are they using the why are they using this crying sprite for Lissa? What the oh, you know what? Lissa's fun. Lissa's a fun person that you can hang out with. Uh, I'd say that she's probably in uh, probably high B rank, just slightly below Anna. Because she's fun, she likes to hang out, play. No, you know what? A rank. A rank. Likes to hang out, play games, do pranks, stuff like that. You know, that's just an overall fun time. Sometimes it can, it can get to be a bit too much, but just an overall fun time character. Knows how to enjoy themselves. Anyhow, uh, this character right here, uh, I don't remember her name, but she was a samurai. She was pretty cool. From a member of her personality, she was fairly easy to get along with and enjoyed life. Uh, she definitely, definitely has some baggage. If we have some baggage, I think she'd probably be a, a good, a good friend, a good friend. So yeah, definitely B rank territory. Definitely below the, below the rest there though. Ah, Sherish. Yes, uh, Sherish is real cool, real cool. Just Werbin Rider. So she, she knows how to tame her, dra how to tra tame her, dra tame a dragon. You know, can knows how to cook, knows how to have fun, and, you know, is actually all about the fun. Doesn't really, doesn't really, I mean, can be serious, but it's all about the fun. Not to the same extent as Lissa, a little bit more reserved, but not nearly as reserved as, say, Lucida. So I'd say that she's definitely a high A rank, possibly S rank contender. So we're going to put her right, I don't know if it's Above or below Lucina. You know, we're just going to say they're tied, so we're going to put them right there. Ah, Severa. Severa. This character, I know for a fact I could get along with. As strange as that may sound, I could get along with someone who's... Who's one of them soon dares. I, I'm, I'm kidding, I know it's a soon dare. But, uh... Could definitely get along with this character, and I could probably be pretty good friends with this, with this type of personality, because, you know... Really, as long as you're not being an a-hole, <laughs> you're you're gonna be fine. They she might say some things that are that come off as a bit you know rough around the edges, but always meaning, always you know in a good place. You know, it, 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 there to try to be a good person. A little a little heavy on the sass, but you know, always there to be a good person. I say she's above Lissa. A rank material. A rank material. I forgot your name. I remember that you were very uh, duty and honor driven. Had the personality. Essentially, you were just. You only had the personality of I will be a knight. That is really the only personality this character had. Um, which is more than the tag well. So we're going to put her right there because other than that, I don't really remember much about her at all. All right. Morgan. What can I say about Morgan? Morgan is cool. Morgan is cool. Morgan immediately goes up into A rank and is probably a little bit uh, a little bit below Severa because a little over a little over eager, but it's that type of over eager friend who wants to just hang out, have a good time, you know, help each help get better at their own talents and stuff like that, though they may look off the distance and, you know, sort of lose that focus every once in a while on things because they're focusing on something a little further out, you know, five steps ahead. Uh, but they're always aiming for the right thing. And just an overall good person. So yeah, that person goes there. Silly, 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 silly. Uh, you seem like an alright person. I'd say you're B rank. Probably below Naue though because a little too rough around the edges and... Uh, Frankly, 
<sighs> personality, I can get along with someone like this, but I wouldn't want to spend a whole week with them. I'd say maybe I could spend three to five three to five days around a person like this. So they'd be a good friend, but they wouldn't be a best buddy type thing. You know? Ah, Sumia. You're just as... You're more boring than your daughter, but at the same time you're not as annoying as her, so you're just going right above her. <laughs> uh, I know some people are going to get angry at that, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Aseida, she is not. Ah, Cordelia. Amazingly well-written character. I'd say definitely a high A rank, almost possibly S rank contender. We are going to put her at about... Uh, you know, we're going to keep her tied with all these right here because Cordelia is just a cool character. Very smart, knows what she's doing, but at the same time, does have, you know, does actually have a soul <laughs> and, you know, is human. So, comp also flawed. Not completely perfect, but mostly flawed in the terms of how, you know, one's brain might say, ah, you know, I believe it's this way, but it could possibly be this way, and, you know, overthink a lot, while also trying to live up to the whole, oh, everyone wants me to be perfect type, you know, thing. But it's the thing of, one of, the, one of those characters who you know is good, and would be a lot of fun to hang out with all the time. Probably won't be able to. Probably won't be able to because they're going to be busy doing, you know, training stuff like that all the time. But definitely a good character. Definitely a good character. Tiki. Tiki is an A rank. A rank guaranteed. And Tiki's just fun. Tiki's just fun. She's a lot better than she was whenever she was around Marth, because now she's older. She still acts sort of similar, but is a little more serious, so to speak. Has grown up a fair bit, which should happen in about 2,000 years, but... <laughs> um, needless to say, the character is really well written, and sleeps a lot, which, let's be honest, that's what most of us do in our, sp in our spare time, especially now with the Rona, but... Uh, Tiki's a fun character, enjoys, you know, spending time going around and being with the people that, you know, she cares about, you know, is friends with because she realizes that her life is long, so she needs to make sure that the memories she keeps with the others are more, are there to be, you know, good memories, more valuable than anything else, because she'll outlive everyone that she's around. So, yeah, it's just think of really well written character and just a fun time overall. Alright, we now have everyone ranked accordingly. We have to pick one to put to S rank. Hmm, that's a tough question. That is a tough question. We already know that these, these four up front, you know, Olivia, Cordelia, Lucina, and Cherish are all possible candidates for S rank. All possible candidates. Hmm. It's it's hard to choose. It's hard to choose because while well, Olivia's the, the character that's fun to hang around with and would probably pick on, as I said earlier, she probably wouldn't view you as the same in the same way because you I'd be well, in my opinion, I'd be tempted to pick on her a, a fair bit, you know, tease her a little bit. Not in the mean way, but in the playful way, you know, just a, a, the way buddies do. You know how it is, but that can that can annoy people, which I am well aware of, so I would not have a chance. I just would not have a chance. So, Olivia's gonna stay in A rank. Uh, Cordelia and Lucina have sort of the same issue going on, which they both would be very busy with their own time. And would be very hard to choose, you know, what time to hang out with them, stuff like that, because Lucina would be off trying to explore the world and experience things that, you know, she didn't get to. Cordelia would be one take a breather on her time off. <laughs> Would not want to be bothered. Um, but uh, it's very hard to figure out which one would probably give more time to an to the people that they're hanging out with. You know, possibly at 
and possibly be willing to go to that S rank slot. And mm, it's just so hard. So I'll, I'll come back to them because let's talk about Cherish now. Cherish would definitely want to hang out with people a lot, but would never go S rank with anyone except for Virion. We all know it. It's it's in the it's in support conversations with almost every single character she talks to. Virion is the only choice, and I would not want to be second choice. So, Cher stays in A rank. Uh, so it comes down to Cordelia and Lucina, and honestly, between the two, it's sort of a thing of they're both sort of the same when you think about it. <laughs> they're both sort of the same, which. Uh, that makes a tough choice. I So really, really, I think the way it goes is that you'd probably want to spend time with both, get to know a bit more, and... Uh, you know what? Screw it. I said they're essentially the same, so it's a tie. They both go up here, and we could say that Either or is a per is a perfect choice because they're both the right type person. They're both the right type of personality. They both give the they both be willing to spend time with people. You know, though they'd be busy most of the time. I'm, you know, doing their own thing. But they also would be one thing that is extremely important: fiercely loyal. <laughs> so just think of you can't go wrong with either option. But whenever it comes down to it, you have to choose one. You have to choose one. So, that's where we're going to end this. You know that I say both these are a great choice. So let me tell you, let me ask you, based off of what you've heard here, who would be your S rank? And if you and you, if you have the same option up here as well, which one would you choose? Would you go Cordelia or Lucina? Food for thought, folks. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please turn that like button. But above all else. Have a great day, folks.